While everyone is gearing up for the big game on Sunday, your preparations are probably a little different from artist Bill Bledsoe's. Bill is here to talk about his upcoming painting depicting the showdown between the Rams and the Patriots. Bill, it's always a pleasure to have Thanks. you here. It's always a pleasure to be yeah, here. Thank you. So before we talk about this weekend's game, I have to ask you, this painting right here, this is from Super Bowl Three. That's right? correct. This is the Jets and the Colts. This was when the AFL and the NFL were two separate leagues mm -hmm. still. And this, uh, this particular contest, the Jets were the greatest un underdog in the history of the Super Bowl, 20-point uh -huh. underdog. Nobody expected them to win. The Colts that year were just a juggernaut. They destroyed everybody. Wow. And uh, they never even watched the Jets play. They never even looked at any of their film when mm -hmm. they went into the championship game. And the Jets beat him. Of course, Namath <laughs> made the famous quote, I think we, he said, I think we can win. Yeah. And what everybody doesn't realize is he explained why mm -hmm. he thought they could win. And everything he said is what happened is in what the game. happened. Yeah. Caused them to walk away with the win. And we clearly know that you are a Jets oh, fan. Wearing your, wearing your New York jacket that's, that's right it. there. That's I love it. it. Love it. <laughs> uh, but this is what's so unique is that every year on the Super Bowl night, you basically create this painting overnight and then you come and join us Monday morning do, yeah. with very little sleep so we appreciate you coming <laughs> in but walk me through the process of you doing this well of course we watch the game and then we'll, I'll, I'll decide what I think is the the uh, driving moment now this is a uh, time lapse, uh, time yeah. lapse of one that I did a couple of years ago and this was all done within a, this is covering about I think six hours wow of, uh, of painting and uh, this is when the uh, Patriots beat the uh, Falcons yeah. in overtime. It's the first overtime and only overtime Super Bowl we've had. Uh, and uh, of course, I get so sick and tired of painting the Patriots. I'm going to tell you right now. And as a Jets fan, this goes beyond just a rivalry. I'm so tired of it. But anyway, having said that, it actually turned out to be a pretty decent painting. Well, and I think it's so wonderful. And this is one thing that you and I were actually talking about because you teach over at Tusculum. Mm -hmm. and we saw you draw that first and then and now you're putting the painting on it's a process and that's this is right. something that you teach at the art department right as well. I, we teach the kids whether they're a fight they're going to do studio art or digital media they have to be able to draw and paint and sculpt on a competent if not accomplished level mm -hmm. before we ever let them go to the computer or do the filming and so mm -hmm. all my students are involved in these this type of process in some form or another uh, and it's really what gives them their style they don't understand that by learning to draw and paint and doing it at a high level, when they apply that to the computer, it actually distinguishes what they do from, say, anybody else who's working on mm -hmm. the computer. And, and, and that's one thing that you're saying that sets them apart from anyone else absolutely. leaving you, to look for a job. That's exactly right. When you're, when you're applying for a job in the art field, the most important thing you can do is distinguish yourself in a credible way mm -hmm. from everybody else's work. And doing stuff like this helps make that happen. Right. And so describe to me when, you know, students first come in they're thinking okay we're going right to the computer oh, you know? yeah, yeah. I want to be a digital artist a graphic designer something like that and you say no 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 we got to go back to basics right the the majority of students who get degrees in art now they've never really drawn or painted in their lives mm -hmm. they've worked on the computer they're real proficient mm -hmm. at it much more proficient than I ever would be but they, they can't draw and they can't paint, and so we see that pop. Even the ones who come in with portfolios, mm -hmm. they can't be able to reproduce what they did in their portfolio in the studio. Mm -hmm. So we had to go back and revisit all of that. And in Tusculum, you know, we have small classes, so it's a one-on-one -on -one yeah. type of thing. And so we really, I mean, we just will not let them go any further until they can get this done. So we do projects like this mm -hmm. to draw a correlation between what they think they want to do mm -hmm and what they have to do, right. which is become artists, oh, first and foremost. It's so wonderful. And so b uh, before we go, you were actually giving me a lot of information, insider information to Sunday's game yeah. uh, on who we think will win. I said I'm kind of rooting for the underdog, the Rams. I would root for the refs <laughs> over uh, the Patriots. But Just wishing them good luck, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, one of the interesting things is the, the Rams were the first NFL team to have a logo on their mm -hmm. helmet. In the 50s, they, they had a player who was a graphic designer a student in college and he painted the the horns he came up with the idea for the horns on the helmet and painted them on Mondays that was their day off after a game so those helmets were hand painted and then of course uh, a lot of people know that the Patriots first Super Bowl that they won mm -hmm. was against the Rams and so they uh, so this is sort of a, a franchise yes. uh, a get back possibly but my prediction is uh -huh. is that if the Rams will wear their white 
and blue helmets uh -huh. as opposed to the white and yellow helmets, I think they'll have a better chance Ooh, of winning. Because well, they did so well when they moved to Los Angeles last year. Uh -huh. I mean, when they wore those uniforms, the white, the white horns, right. oh my gosh, they just ran over everybody. I guess we'll see. So, and we'll see you Monday morning with the, oh yeah. with the unveiling of the portrait that you make yeah. on Sunday night. Bill, it's so nice to always have it's you here. Thank you so here. much. I guess we'll see who's right come Monday morning, right? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Let's send things over back to the kitchen. Elizabeth, we were talking about, you know, the big game. You can't have big game without big meat and you have some great ideas over there.